trolley workers, yet none for the Newsies. The trolley workers are striking under our contract. The Newsies are striking against me. That Jack Kelly seems to be quite an effective leader. I have a good authority that the investors are food, or a public example made out of it. Mr. Pulitzer, Jack Kelly is here. He looks pretty rough about poor boy. Uh, the guest of honor, right on schedule. Not a peep out of you, young lady. You're in enough trouble as it is. Uh -huh. Which Jack Kelly is this? Charismatic human organizer, the thief and escaped convict. Hey, which one gives us more in common, Joe? Impudence is in bad taste with crawling for mercy. Crawling? Yeah, Jack is more like it. No, you may run this city, but there are some of us that can't be bullied. Even some reporters. Ah, like that talented young girl who made you yesterday's news. Catherine, come here. I trust you know Catherine. My daughter. Yes. Yeah, you may be asking, why the not nothing? I offered her a life of wealth and luxury, and yet she chose to pursue a career. She wanted to do it on her own. Jack, That's I enough out of you. Mr. Kelly has enough problems as it is. Wouldn't you say so? Warden Snyder. Well, 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 Jack Kelly. I'm sure those Hogan's love to see you back behind bars. I saved your old bunk for you at the refuge. Define me, Jack, and I'll make sure your friends at the refuge never leave the refuge. I really wish we consider, Mr. Pulitzer. Answer me, Jack. Do you realize all your friends rotting behind bars all because of you? No. No. That's what I thought. Now, if you speak out against this hopeless strike tonight, I'll see too late that your pockets have enough cash to take you to. Where was it? Santa Fe. You know, there ain't a person in this room that don't know you stick. If they know me, I know I don't care. Now, we have a deal.